Hi there. Welcome to Grad Concepts. Today we'll be working with filters in Power BI. The three major kinds of filters that you'll be using when working with visualizations in Power BI. First one is automatic guide. Let's see how we access the automatic kind of filters. I'll start by plotting a bar graph. So let me select that. And now I'll add country on the x-axis and sales on the y-axis. You'll see that as and when I add both the values, the filters on this visual appears automatically. I have not added any of this. It appears by itself when I add them as variables in my visualization. This is an automatic filter that applies on only this visualization. Any other visualization on this page would not be affected by changes made on the particular visualization that is the bar chart of sales by country. We'll see how exactly that works once we get into the other filters. Now I'll construct another chart. This time I'll construct a pie chart. I can drop it in here and increase the size. I'm making a very rough Power BI dashboard right now just for the sake of understanding. Now I'll bring in segments to the legend and sales to values. This is my pie chart showing the same. Again, sales and segments are the filters on this visual added automatically. <clears throat> now Let's add filters for this page only. Let's say I want to use product to filter this on this very page. So I can choose Amarilla. So uh, Power BI would show me the statistics for only Amarilla. Or I could do the same for Carat. Basically, all the visualization on this particular page would be impacted by the current visual I'm in. Then comes filter on all pages. Let's add year over here and see. Now, all right, now we have gotten advanced filtering. We'll get into this later on. Let's just turn it back into basic filtering. And you'll see you can select 2013 or 14, the two years present in our data set. What's interesting is it doesn't apply to only these visualizations. Also applies also applies to the new page that I'm looking at. So there's no other filter here except the filters on all pages option I added over there. So if I was to create a visualization here and change and choose the year on this page, it would still be valid on page two. Now I'll show you some changes. Okay, so I'll select the bar chart and I'll see country option. And let's say I select, to, I choose to see only Canada sales. But this has impacted the bar graph, but not the pie graph. However, any change on filters on this page section would be impacted to both of them. And filters on all pages would impact across all the different pages that you created for the purpose of this visualization. Now, let's see how an advanced filtering works. So this is a filter for country. Let's go ahead and change it into advanced filtering. And here, because this is a text string, numerical strings work differently, but over here, we have a number of options. Say I want to see the sales of countries whose name starts with U and A. So I'll put U and contains again A. So I have given two options. And starts with then I'll type in A. So I have given two constraints and see what happens and let's see what happens to our visualization. So right now since there were no countries whose name starts with both U and A Nothing was shown here. Let's change this constraint to over and apply it. Now we see United States of America because there was no country whose name starts with A. Now let's try using advanced filtering 
in a numerical sense. So here you have options like is less than, is greater than, is equal to and whatnot. So let's select is less than. And before I work on my constraint, I'm going to make this graph a little more informative. Basically add the labels. So add the parameters. Okay. So we have uh we have 25 million, 24.9. Okay. So let's say I just want to see Germany and Mexico. So I'll put in 23 million as my value. Okay. You see that you are only able to see these two. Depending on your use case, you'll know how to use this. This was a very rudimentary visualization, so you would think that this is not very useful. But it is a really powerful feature to create constraints within your filters instead of having to add on formulas to your visualizations. So that's it from our side on the topic of filters. We hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video and would like more such videos, please consider subscribing.